they did something to Russian wrestlers where they could access 100% of the brain and its connection yes. with that switch that's been turned on. Is there a word for it? I can explain it. There is no word as such, but there was the finding 16% is willfully in control of our brain. The normal standard, the normal physiological, neuroscientific understanding of what we can do within our brain. 16% control, and I was 100. So explain that. And I say, yeah, it is there. And a lot has to do, like dolphins have a brain more than twice as big as ours. But they are not building bridges and technology and all. No, they use it for echo. There is a lot of emotion going on with dolphins. So that is emotion. And that the biggest part of our brain is actually our emotion. I mean, what are thoughts when you are in love? It's nothing, it's pathetic. What is death when you are having all the money in the world and the power and this and that? It's nothing. So it's much bigger than our thinking brain by which we thought we can control our emotions. But it is not. Emotions happen. Now, when emotions are disturbed, are we able to tap into the emotions and cleanse them from the wrong stress inflicted by a disruptive situation like death or a marriage broken, divorce or anything like that? Anybody can understand that. And if we go back to what you said, old story of the woman or the mama who lifts up a car because her child is underneath is tapping into that power of the emotion only at that time she is not thinking she is not blocked in her thinking loops she goes past Do we have now a way to tap into that emotional brain which is almost the rest of ours. So we got a thinking brain, 16% that it is able to control. Then we are controlled by emotions, the limbic system. And then we have a reptilian, the brain stem, the oldest. And that is more into breathing. Breathing, fight, flight, fuck, food. Very basic, that it is. And those things are very strong. It drives men and women, it's what it is. But emotions? is bigger. We can override the brainstem. We can override even death. When we see our child underneath a car, amidst the traffic, we go, there's no thinking. Fear is gone. We should not need triggers like that to make use of that power to go within that 100% of our brain. And now we have shown how to do it. And of course, it took steps to do it because stubborn understanding of what we can do, even scientifically stated, and to overthrow that, overthrowing and shifting the whole paradigm, the whole narrative told us by schools, doctors, the systems, the governments, you can only do so much and that's it. That's the way you're going to be schooled. And I say that is nonsense. What is really sense is to be able to process your hurt. Emotional agony because of divorces, death. You lost your job. You have no money suddenly anymore after having millions or whatever a reason it affects us and that affects our deeper brain in which we never knew how to go within and to rectify, to process, to repair, to heal our hurt. We never had it. And now we have it. <laughs>